What is up my friends? It is Thursday the 22nd I believe and I am going to St. Louis this weekend for a first form, I can't even talk, the first form conference. So my camera's about to die but I wanted to show just some things that I'm packing and preparing for the trip. Um, and then I'll just kind of vlog throughout the weekend and make just like one video. Um, if it's lengthy, I'll make two. But um, so since I'm on prep, just started on Saturday, I wanted to make sure that I'm hitting all my calories and macros. So my coach wanted me to like prepare my own food and bring it there, but I just did not want to lug around all this other food. So I went against that. I'm pretty sure he's not going to watch this, so he won't hear me say this, but I at least ordered meals through Icon Meals. So they have the option to like do custom orders. So all the macros are on the website. And so I pretty much just like planned all my meals out and then I have the uh, MyFitnessPal premium. So I was able to just like do quick ads versus having like search for everything because it just makes it so much easier. You just quick add the calories and macros. So I planned my entire day out with the meals got that delivered to the hotel so I don't have to travel with anything. But like for my snacks, supplements, um, and just things throughout those meals, like in between those meals for snacks, um, I'm packing some things and bringing it with, which is a lot less like bulky to bring with. So I'm really excited. So I'll show you guys that. So I also labeled everything because I'll be busy and I don't want to like forget what's for which day. So like I have my post-workout for Friday. I have a couple protein bars that are labels. This is Icon Meals um, chocolate protein popcorn. So just when I want like a little treat. And I have this for one of my pre-workouts. I like to have like fruit snacks for quick easy carbs. Like 20 grams for each um, little package. So I want to have a really good lift. Bringing my blender bottle to put my post-workout shake in. And just keep, keep reusing it. So I also have my BCAAs in these like cute little containers. So... That way I don't have like a thousand baggies and the airport's going to be like, what the hell? And then I have my Opti Green, so I just need to find my little Ziploc baggies to put this in. I have my vitamins. And then I have my oatmeal, which is going to be paired with this honey. I have like just a little bit left, so I'm going to bring that with. And then I have um, a post or like a meal replacement protein. This is the level one from First Form. So I have that and then another post-workout shake for Saturday. So so I'm not working out on Sunday because it's my rest day. So I'll be traveling back home on Sunday. But I have that and then I've already logged some things I need to buy when I get there. So Greek yogurt, some fat-free milk, and then let me see, I have my meals. And I think that's it. I try to make it like very simple and minimal. So other than that, I'm gonna show you some things that I'm also bringing, just like clothes and um, I'm hoping I prepare for the weather good because I know the weather is, it showed like in the 30s and then the highs are like the 70s or something like that. Who else travels and just like knows they cannot fit all their crap in their bag? Even when you buy, or like even when you have like a carry-on, there's still two bags. It's like, how do you not fit clothes for just a weekend? Like I'm getting there early Friday and leaving midday Saturday or Sunday. So hopefully I can fit all this in my bag. Voila, magic happened. Got it all to fit. Um, and then plus I have like my makeup bag, straightener, all my bathroom things. So I'm hoping that I can like, hopefully find like a spot to cram them down. Probably like right here. Cool. So I have to get ready for work because I have work till 7.30. So the next time I'm probably going to be filming is when I'm heading to the airport really early in the morning and this is like my first trip traveling alone so I'm like super nervous but I'm really excited to like have the experience and get out of my comfort zone because honestly like I always have my husband look for the signs and like help just do everything when we travel <laughs> so um definitely have to get out of my comfort zone and enjoy it and have the experience so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning and enjoy your day so just got in St. Louis um had a great flight, got to sleep in, and uh, slept the entire flight. Kind of did that like jerking thing when you sleep, so I was trying to like control myself. But um, our hotel like got changed from one to another because there is um, a conflict with the hotel and the location before. So what's funny is I'm like splitting a room with four people in this new hotel. I walk in and I'm like, where's the other bed? <laughs> like there's only one big bed. So uh, there's a couch and everything, but I'm gonna give you a tour on this um, hotel room. Cause it's like a really badass hotel. 
and it's like a little mini apartment it's pretty cool so i'm gonna show you guys you walk in you've got a full-size living room and a full-size little kitchen and in the fridge i got my icon meals that got delivered at the front desk so i've got all my meals here i've got breakfast lunch and then i have some of my dinner the meals i got it's three ounce steak one cup of saffron rice so i have that for two days and then I got two scrambled eggs with two ounces of turkey bacon and one protein pancake. And I've got four ounces of ground turkey, four ounces of sweet potato, and two ounces of green beans. So these will be, these will be my meals, and then I've got my snacks in between too. If you ever are looking to get Icon meals, deliver it. It's so easy. All right. Oh, and then there is a little like dining nook got I think this is a closet oh nice like a nice full size closet and then we have bedroom somehow I gotta figure out four people we have the couch but oh this is nice I didn't even have to bring anything they got everything you need it's like a little window in here too, that's so cute. So pretty pumped, I'm gonna go to the, um, what am I saying, I don't even know. I'm so hungry that I need to go find a Starbucks and get some food and coffee. And then I'm going to head to the gym, work out. Gotta make sure I get back here because one of the girls are going to get here around like noon. So I'm gonna make sure that I can get her up in the hotel because you have to have like the key card for the elevator. So I'm um, gonna get ready, go to the gym, meet up with my friend Mandy. I don't know, I had text her, so I'm not sure where she's at now, but hopefully we can get together in a little bit and go get a solid workout in. Also, outfit of the day, I got this top at Zara, so super comfy. This necklace was from, um, where did I get it at? Aldo. And just wearing my um, Fabletics leggings and got these combat boots at Aldo. I'm like, can't talk. I really need coffee. I've been up since like... 3.30 and no coffee. I just took like the best nap for like two hours. I felt like totally toast. So just showered and about to do my makeup. Not that anybody cares about my makeup, but like I have horrible skin, like really horrible skin. And I'm doing those micro needles like I've talked about in one of my previous YouTube videos, but like the makeup that I use covers really well. So I'm gonna show you my face now and how well the makeup covers. You look like you'd be a good candidate for the next thing. For the next thing, for dude, where you're going to end up 10 years from now starts in your brain now. It starts with you holding that disposition.
like so badass. We just are now on lunch break and I came up, up to the uh, room to get my icon meals to eat something. Um, but just like hearing Andy talk and like just different like the elite trainers and the different athletes, I feel like it's just like, you know, you feel like you struggle with things that you do and then you hear somebody talk for like five minutes and you're like, oh, I know what I need to do. Like just that little like encouragement and just hearing the stories is so awesome. So anyways, right now I'm trying to heat up my turkey uh turkey with mashed sweet potatoes and green beans but they threw my fork away so i need to like go grab another one but these sweet potatoes are like still pretty frozen so i'm gonna grab this heat it up and then go back down there so that i can eat with everyone and then we break up into groups for like 30 in like 30 minutes for a couple hours so excited to see other legionnaires and just collaborate and talk to people so i will see you guys later also super digging my outfit Hey, it's March 27th. I'm already back from my trip from St. Louis. I tried getting some great clips um, or filming as much as I could along the trip, but I really didn't bring my camera around everywhere we went and it was such a blast. I'm going to add in some like videos and pictures of people that um, I got to meet and people I roomed with and it was just such a good experience and great trip that I feel very like rejuvenated and just it's so nice to like surround myself with people that have the same interest and the same vision and goals for themselves and just wanting to be successful and happy in life and it's not necessarily just like the money aspect it's really just finding that thing that at the end of the day you feel like you've accomplished everything that you want to for that day and you feel just fulfilled in life and I just feel very focused on just understanding business better and um, just like overall what it takes to be able to help more people and uh just to have that experience just made me very like i said just like rejuvenated and i feel really good and that like there's like a fire lit in me that like wants to keep putting in the extra work and doing more and doing more and doing more and it's a selfless act like i want to do more for other people than i do for myself but those things i'm focusing for myself like my competition prep because like being a competitor is very selfish, but what that does is it lets me live the things, like live out the things that I'm telling other people to do. And if I can't do the things I tell other people to do, then how am I supposed to really help people or be trusted? And so like my prep and my competition, all those things is to like let people know like you can do it if you commit to it. And it doesn't matter if it's a competition or not, or if it's just like, losing 10 pounds or five pounds, or if it's like having a better relationship or just feeling happy and accomplished in their own lives throughout the, like every day. And so I just, the things that I do is to help other people. And I want to do that to prove that like you can do it. It's not like there's any special skill or task. It's just, you slowly work on it every day and get better at it. I feel like I'm still ground zero when I do things. And, you know, I say this humbly, but like, I have some like a couple of my friends like earlier this girl Amy I was following up with her and she was just like maybe one day I'll get you know rid of some of the fat that I want to lose but um you know you're an inspiration I like to follow you and it's like I love that you know I'm happy that I can inspire people but at the same time like you can do that now it doesn't take like maybe someday it takes today and so you have to just get started and slowly work on it every day you don't have to like do this crazy plan and just like execute 1000% every single day and like be perfect because that doesn't happen like today, my meals aren't perfect. Um, you know, I'm eating good foods, but I'm not eating the way, like the times that I need to be eating. I, um, you know, some days I eat shitty. And like last night I made these like cinnamon churros because we had them. And so I ate a few, like I fit into my calories, but it's not the food that I want to be eating. So it's like, it's those little things that like, just find that balance, just execute, work on it every day. Like there's no such thing as perfection. And you have to realize that don't be so hard on yourself and don't stress. Don't take it too serious and but just know that like you have to take it serious enough to um get the results and follow it like it's like finding that fine line of like being serious um so that you can be successful but like also don't stress yourself so much that you're like increasing your cortisol levels and like getting upset and mad and just like not really enjoying life like you got to find that balance and stick to it and so i'm kind of like rambling again you know you guys know if y'all follow my videos i do that a lot but um 
sorry, my arms are like really tired, so I keep switching the camera with my arms. But anyways, back to the trip. I just had such a great time and it kind of helped me realize things that I need to improve on. And I think that that's the biggest takeaway from the trip is like no matter what I'm doing, I can always be better. And you have to always like find that thing that if you're like settling and thinking that you're doing perfect, you're doing something wrong because there's always room for improvement and there's no such thing as perfection. And I always know that I need to be doing more and having a focus on something and like creating that goal. So I'm going to like today, I have my security system coming or like the company coming because our security system was kind of messed up. So it's like, okay, my day's not going as planned because I need to go grocery shop. I need a meal prep. I'm going to be video editing this video soon. And there's like these little tasks I need to do today. But like, since I'm stuck at the house waiting for them to get here, I'm going to focus on other tasks. So instead of just throwing it all out the window and just like watching Netflix or something, like I'm finding other things I need to take care of and getting closer to my goals to help more people and just get more content out there and just make me feel fulfilled. So that's some of the things that you just really have to focus on. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life or what your goals are. Like you just need to be moving forward and keep working at it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just like saw all the things that I shared. As you see, I also brought my icon meals there. And if you've ever, if you're ever traveling anywhere and you want to stay on track, but you don't want to travel with food order like a meal prep company service, because it makes it so much easier. Like the only thing that I didn't like my whole plan, like my nutrition and everything was to a T exactly how I logged it ahead of time. I followed my meal plan. The only thing that didn't follow was uh, Saturday night. We had all gone out to these like bars and stuff downtown near the Cardinal Stadium. And the last meal that I had for the night was Greek yogurt. But we ended up staying out like way later than I had planned, which worth it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But like I was just so hungry. And so... This girl, Sarah, who I roomed with, really sweet girl, she always carried around like this little package of Ritz crackers. And so I told her, I was like, I am so hungry. Like I was just drinking water. People were drinking like alcohol and stuff. But I just had water. And um, she like gave me her crackers. And I was like, okay, I'm eating these crackers. And then by the time we got back to the hotel, I had like no spoon or anything to eat my Greek yogurt. So I was like, well, those calories at least, even though it's not the pro, I didn't get my all my protein in like I planned to because it was like, 10 grams of protein I think in the Greek yogurt but I had crackers at least I got the calories in but I didn't have like the exact macros so I kind of like modified that but that's where it's like I'm not stressed about it like I feel very proud of bringing my meals and staying on track and so I didn't have to stress about like where am I going to go eat how much should I be eating I didn't have my food scale or anything like that so everything was like pre-planned so I'm gonna put a link to icon meals below but like even if you just want to use any meal prep company uh create like use the signature meals or create custom meals and just have your food delivered to the hotel it's super easy you don't have to stress about food and you can really focus on like whatever the trip is whether it's like a conference or it's vacation or whatever it is like you just enjoy your time have fun but you don't have to stress about food so i'm gonna leave it on that note i'm gonna edit this video get it posted for you guys and uh stay tuned for the next one i'm not sure what the next video will be about i'm hoping to film either today or later this week but um, really enjoying prep so far. It's only been like one week, but I feel very focused and I need to be losing at least half a pound more this week, this, which is what my coach wants me to do. So we're kind of tracking to see how my cardio plan is going out uh, or working out and then how my exercise plan, my nutrition plan is working. So my weight's slowly going down and I have like half a pound to lose by the end of this week. It's Tuesday today. So I'll keep you guys posted on how I'm tracking my progress and um thank you guys for like getting excited about watching this series i'm like super focused on getting my pro card um and just just pushing myself and doing better for myself so stay tuned for the next video i'll see you guys next time bye